Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, this is going to be a quickie episode. So one of the things I'm going to do in 2017 is sort of just kind of release what am I working on sort of more as inspirational or idea starters rather than kind of uh, more complete maybe tutorials or sub-tutorials. Anyways, what I'm going to do today is I'm working on the DaVinci um, uh, 2.0 here. One of the things I'm going to do is add a SD card extender and also I'm kind of stealing this a little bit from RJ Make is uh, adding a Wi-Fi card to it also uh, so I can send files directly to it from the slicer rather than having to have a computer attached to send files so this is the reflash version but one of the reasons I did want to share this is because if you go back into the XYZ playlist you'll see probably about a year ago I notched out over here so you can kind of get the card in and out um, without taking this back off and, and uh, so I could sideload code to it now again this is reflash but it, you know if yours isn't reflashed and again at your own risk this may be something you might be interested in doing um, to allow you to sideload uh, you know code onto your printer so because uh, you might recall and again if you look back at that episode there are three sample files in there so even if you have the stock or at least the, the way it worked before is if you had the stock firmware so long as you sideloaded uh, a matching file into that sample category you could print it now mine's reflashed and I want to be able to either swap uh, put the file directly on the card and that's why I'm adding this or be able to add it via Wi-Fi from a computer at a distance from this so uh, that's what I'm doing. So anyways, hopefully uh, maybe this is giving you some thoughts or if you have uh, a light 3D printer this may be an option again to uh, to remote connect to it or uh, be able to swap out SD cards where it really wasn't designed to. So anyways, hopefully you found this uh, interesting, maybe a little inspirational for a project of your own. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe. The button will be coming up over there. Don't forget the swag shop up there and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.